Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're here with a one year review for my native Titan 10.5. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I've already got it set up. I'm gonna show you how I like to rig it up before I like to get it out on the water. And I'm gonna show you some of the extra mods and some of the different things that I've done with it. Some of these things I've taken from several other YouTube subscribers. Uh, Mobbin Outdoors is one guy. Greg Blanchard's obviously another one. Uh, any of the little bitty ideas that I picked up from YouTube that I've thrown on the boat, I'm going to definitely show you what those are. I've also done some things that I haven't seen anybody else do. I'll show you what those are, and then I'll tell you about how I did them. I'm going to tell you what my overall impression is of having this thing on the water for a year now. Um, I went gentle with this thing. If you subscribe to the channel, you've seen any of my videos, you'll know that I put this thing through some rough spots. Um, in fact, to the point where I'm bending rods trying to get in and out of some of the places that I fish. So we're going to walk through the boat from bow to stern and show you what I've done with it, alright? So stick around, let's see what we did. Okay, I want to show you what I did to the front of the boat. So I did add a different GoPro mount up top. Uh, that's really no big deal. I tell you what, I actually wanted to add something that would let me get like a better angle on the boat. But uh, this actually gives me some cool shots that I started to do. Uh, I did it in that last January video that I posted, and I did a little bit of it like back in Ju July uh, with the uh, Catch More Fish video. Um, okay, so the first thing that I actually added as a mod to the boat was this. It's the paddle holder. So I stuck the paddle holder on the top of the propel unit, and what it basically does is it holds the net. Okay, so to keep my net right here, it keeps it convenient, it keeps it close on hand. So when I'm trying to land a fish, as it's here, I'm just going to tell you, I did it all year, it doesn't get in the way of my pedals. Um, I've never bumped it. I've never done anything to it to knock it off. In fact, I've got to, I've got to tell you, like actually having the paddle holder here to keep the net in has probably kept me from knocking either my net over or keeping from having to reach back behind me and do anything with it. I drilled, I drilled my hole here, and then ran to the inside of where my battery box is at, and then down here to where the transducer is at. So let me show you what I did for my fish finder is that I have a ram ball mount, screws off and on so like I can move it, but here's the deal, is that once I've set up my fish finder, I decided that, okay, I don't want this thing to move, I'm gonna leave it right where it's at, because the cords that run through, I've got tight enough to where they're not all over the uh, deck inside of the boat. Okay, so I didn't wanna drill holes inside the boat any more than I had to, but uh, I wanted an anchor trolley. The, the lakes that I fish, sometimes it's best for me to keep in the position I'm at if I have like an anchor. Um, even if the wind may push me a little bit, I can always pull it back up and get to the spot I want. 
I wouldn't mind a power pole, but I didn't want to do a power pole because A, it's a lot more weight, B, they're pretty expensive, and C, that pole sticks eight feet up in the air. It's like having another rod back there, but sometimes I fish in tight conditions and I just didn't want it right now as an option. So what I decided to do was kind of make my own kayak anchor trolley mod, right? So if you watch my video about my kayak anchor mod that wraps up with my uh, foam pool floaty thing, uh, what I've done is, is I've made my anchor trolley kind of modular. So this can move around, I can move it, I can stick it other places on the boat if I want to. And how it works is that set up that way. Take my carabiner clip. I'm going to try to do this holding this freaking weight. Take my carabiner clip, clip it on, and then it hangs off away from my boat. So it's quiet. It's not just a, a hook and eye for my for my paracord because when you want to detach this thing, it's going to always be in a hurry, right? So a taut line trying to detach that's not going to work very well. This way, just hold the carabiner clip down and then pop it off. So it works for me. It's a system that I kind of like, basically because a I just didn't want to drill any holes in my boat. You know what I mean? I wanted to keep this to where I didn't have to drill any holes. So. Uh, and it moves around. I can still move it around any place I want to, wherever there's gear track, right? Uh, so, obviously I shoot GoPro videos on my kayak. So, what I've done is that in order to keep my GoPro running, if you guys want to do something like this, especially you guys with uh, kayak, that kayak fish, um, obviously you can find out pretty quick with your GoPro that you're going to need an alternate power source, right? So, what I've done is I bought an alternate power source. Uh, this has kept me going for a whole weekend. I didn't recharge, I didn't charge it. I fished probably a total of probably 12 or 14 hours for the two days combined and it kept me going all weekend on my GoPro. I didn't have to charge anything up. So what I've done with it is that I take this and I put Velcro on the back of it and then down here behind my seat, I've got some Velcro and I just stick it on there. So it stays there, it doesn't move. And then what I do is I run my charging cord up underneath my boondocks landing gear and it comes up underneath and then I bring it all the way up to where my GoPro is mounted. So that keeps everything out of the way. It keeps it from shaking around and moving and having it close enough to where my seat's at is that if I need to charge my phone, I can charge it from here too. And I've had to do that before on the water. If you use Turney X, you know you've been there and you've done it. So uh, the seat on the native Titan, this is the 2018 seat. So this was the new seat. Not as much noise on it at all. In fact, like I can't tell the, I can't hear what some of those poor other guys went through with uh, their seat and making a lot of noise that they had because my seat doesn't do that. Um, I stand a lot in it. If you watch any of my videos, you can tell that I stand and fish 90% of the time. I think that's a pretty accurate estimation about how often I'm on the boat standing up fishing. So inside, You'll see that I've got little bitty areas where you can stick like uh, just stuff that you can grab quick. There's a lot of room underneath here that you can put some of your extra tackle trays. And even back here, some of those 3200s that are small, you can fit back in here. I keep a backpack in my boat. Uh, this has got like a lens, like one of those nice little terry cloths that you can just wipe off like the lens of your GoPro or your, your sunglasses. It's got some sunscreen in there. I've also got some chapstick. If you're on the water for a long period of time, you guys know exactly why you carry that. Uh, inside, I keep a towel, just, just for miscellaneous reasons. Uh, at least two bottles of water, at least. I keep a tourniquet in here, just in case, God forbid, should something happen. There's always a first aid kit in my boat. I keep that in there. Um, a couple tools that I keep stuffed in here, some, um, baby wipes for obvious reasons. My boondocks landing gear back here. Uh, I'm gonna take you around the other side of the boat so I can show you what I've got going on over there. So um, I wanna give credit to Mobbin Outdoors because I did take this from him. So back here on the back side of my boondocks landing gear, there's obviously, it's got some gear track. I added another paddle holder back here, but it's not for my paddle. It's obviously it's for another rod and reel. And the reason why I like this because uh, you know, if you're not subscribing to his channel, I would encourage you to do that because you pick up a lot of cool things from him and Greg Blanchard, especially with a Titan because they each have one. Um, I like this is because this is like a quick access, all right? I can hurry up and get into this or get onto this rod fast 
without having to lean back or as I'm standing up, you know, reach back and grab the rod or knee. This is right here. Up here, this is the other side of that kayak anchor mod that I was telling you about. See so my fish grips. He's got a nice spot to keep this here. My uh, pliers, it's obviously got a nice little area. Uh, so right here, I've got my carabiner clip attached to my seat on the bottom for my Cal Coast fish grips. So when I CPR fish, to get them to calm down, just put that in there, drop him back in the water. Um, coming back to the back of the boat, obviously, hey, if you have a native Titan, you have to have the landing gear. Whether, whether or not, I mean, you decide not to have the landing gear, you're going to need a kayak cart. You're gonna need something. This boat alone weighs, I think, 77 pounds unloaded. We all know that when you take this thing to the lake, there's gonna be a lot more weight in it. Um, so I decided to go with the landing gear. It's just, it makes it easier for me as the way it comes down, comes back up. Uh, I come all the way back here. I got my black pack. Um, leaving it right here has been easy for me to get to. I've never had a problem not being able to get to my tackle. And I also, on mine, I installed what, I think you get like the three rod holders with it, okay? But I went ahead and bought five more how I kind of keep it controlled is on the Titan you've got the safety cord down here and what I do with it is I just hook it up in the back of the backpack all right and it's staying there it's not going anywhere I've never had this thing shipped on me or do anything else uh, when you look down at the rudder you'll see that I've got the Beerly Pro rudder cable upgrade and come down here to the back of the boat I upgraded to the boondocks rudder all right so Something that this already, if you look at that January video that I put out, um, you can kind of see it. I got a lot more bite in the water. You could tell that I definitely had a lot more control. We come up here to the rudder control. You'll see that this thing, this thing gives you so much more freedom of movement. Just a lot more freedom of movement. Uh, so anyway, uh, my overall impression of it, so like I said, I had this thing for a year and I didn't baby it. If you watch any of my videos, uh, we're in some thick stuff. It's in some ugly water. I mean, there's scratches on the bottom of the hole. There's scratches along the side of it. But listen, I knew in the very beginning of this that, look, my idea of a fishing kayak is it's not a Cadillac. It's a battleship, okay? This thing is designed because I'm going to put it in harm's way, all right? So... You know, my, my general impression is, is that it, it held up exactly to its name. If it was up to me and I was gonna do this again, I would 100% go back and buy another Titan. If it all happened again and I needed to do this, I, this is definitely the boat that I would buy. You're gonna pay for a boat like this, but I think it's important to, you know, find that balance between what I spend on my boat versus what makes it easier for me to fish. So why am I getting the kayak? I'm getting the kayak to fish, okay? I knew instantly that, man, pedal drive is the way I wanna go then. I don't wanna have to fight my fish with a paddle and trying to readjust and reposition and make it a lot of noise. Listen, it works for guys. Guys do it all the time and they catch a lot of good fish. I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm saying that I know for me, it was easier to pedal and fish and worry about one thing, fishing. Um, but uh, I mean, that being said, there's been times that I've been stuck in the weeds and I've had to obviously use the paddle. So, um, so listen, uh, I would 100% do this all over again. Um, this has by far been my favorite way to chase fish. Um, you know, and I tell you what, and, and I mean it, I mean, this thing isn't a Cadillac, it's a battleship and I've treated it like one. So, uh, you, know, you know, with that, I'd say that, hey guys, Thanks a lot for checking out my channel. I appreciate you tuning in. Thanks for the time for watching this video. It's probably gonna be a pretty long video if you make it to this part of it. So, um, you know what? We've got the national championship coming up. We're getting ready to get geared up and kitted out for that. We're starting to research the lakes down there that we wanna hit now. So, uh, this will be the one of the videos that drops in early February. I'll make another one and drop it towards the end of February before things start really getting kicked off and busy for, in March for the national championship. So. Um, hey, like I say every time, I don't need you to be your favorite channel. I just want to be a channel you guys like to watch. So listen, thanks for checking it out, and we'll see you next time.